Okay, good afternoon and a very warm welcome to Spotlight on Six Plus Careers. Please, could you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Frances Taylor. Um, I'm a service delivery manager within the NHS Primary Care Services. So what does your job involve? So day to day, um, I manage the operational side of a number of um, NHS services. So we have uh, two GP service contracts. Um, we have a walk-in service contract, sexual health service, and um, a similar to another walk-in service, we've got an interim patient service. So all primary care, all in the community, all first point of contact for someone um, when they have a medical problem that they need help with. Um, so at the moment, my job has changed quite a lot um, in that it's now heavily focused around COVID um, and the response to COVID. And at the moment now, um, the COVID vaccination programmes. So what has been your career journey to get to this point? Okay, so um, I took my A-levels, finished school, um, was all lined up to go to university. Um, and then in my gap year, I started working at local GP um, surgery, needed some administration help. So I helped them out, worked there before I went away traveling and then went back to work there after I got back from traveling. Um, and I really enjoyed the work there and my bosses at the time could see that I was really enjoying what I was doing. And so they offered me um, an opportunity to work with them and train with them and not go to university so that is an option that I took I thought great why not I really like what I'm doing so this seems um, like a really good opportunity for me so I started working in the administration and reception side of things um, then I stepped up and took my dispensing qualifications so working with all the drugs and medicines um, and then I did some more training and worked up into a management role um, yeah and then I deputized I was the deputy practice manager there and I worked at that surgery for seven years in total um, and then I moved on to um, a bigger kind of group of practices um, in London um, and now I'm still working for that company today. So your job has enabled you to travel? Yeah so um, I lived in London for four years um, and worked for the, the company that I work for now and then actually I decided that I wanted to move back out of London um, so I approached my boss and talked about my plans and I'm now lucky enough that I'm able to work from home um, for the majority of my time and I also travel to work so I work for services in London and also in Brighton now so during the Covid pandemic I've been travelling as a key worker the whole way through which has um, had its challenges and its differences um, but I've been lucky enough that I've been able to carry on with my job um, during very different times for everybody so I feel very lucky in what I do. Thank you so much. So if you were to hire an apprentice what skills and qualities would you be looking for? Um, so we actually do work with apprentices so for us key things we look at are kind of um, that they are organised, um, that's really important for us. Um, because it just shows that you can apply your kind of day-to-day -day work. Um, we look for dedication, simple things like timekeeping, um, showing up on time. That's really important and it sets a really good example. Um, and also we look that people have an interest in what they're doing, that you, you can see that they're using it um, as potentially a stepping stone, uh, maybe into another career pathway. Um, but yeah, you want to see that they've looked at why what your apprenticeship is offering and where it might take them in the future. Um, and I have to say, with the apprentices that we have taken on, we've kept on the majority of our apprentices. They've done really well through the scheme. Um, and then 
also gone on to do other things as well. And also when we've been employing, if it's even been admin staff, reception staff, we look for other people who have done um, an apprenticeship qualification because it's really good. It's really worthwhile. Um, and if you've completed that, we know that you've done really well and you've committed to completing it. Thank you so much. So what would you uh, say you enjoy the most about your job? Um, I love that I get to work with a really diverse team. Um, so I get to work with doctors, nurse practitioners, nurses, paramedics, pharmacists, you name it, we work with all of them. And it's just really, di every day is completely different. Yes, I have the back mode of my job, which is the same stuff, but it's different interactions. Um, so interaction with different staff and then interacting with different patients. And you get to interact with people sometimes at the worst of times and then also in really good times. So you get to see a huge amount of people come through the doors. Um, you get to help them out in really difficult times. I love the challenge of dealing with a patient who might not have had the best experience um, and how to make that better for them. Um, so yeah, for me, it's all the different interactions and the fact that every day is different for me. And finally, what advice would you give to your 15-year-old self? Well, to be honest, for me, I'm not sure I would change a huge amount because for me, I... I was all set to go to university and then I changed my mind. So I think what I would say is that if, if an opportunity comes up that you think is a really good idea, take your time to think about it because it could be. Um, it might be really viable for you. Um, I would say that I slightly broke the mould. The majority of my friends went to university um, and chose that route. But it's not... What you, ha you don't have to do that. Um, you can go through it a different way. You can even go to university later in life. I would just think if you find something that you enjoy, um, because we're going to be working for a long time. So doing something that you like will really, really help. Because if you've got a passion about it, um, it makes each day easier because you know that the job that you're doing is worthwhile. And for me, Hopefully, we're making a big difference to people's healthcare. So, yeah, find something. If you're lucky enough that you find something that you like, great, go for it. And also, if you don't find something straight away that you think is for you, don't panic because there will be other options and there's plenty of time to find the right kind of thing. That's wonderful advice. And thank you so much for your time today.